the crown of the continent. 250 miles of mostly intact wild country. It's the backbone of the world. It's what the Blackfeet call it. It has one of the most intact wildlife communities on the globe. It's bigger and older and more inspiring than any one of us can hope to be, I think. Big as this country looks, these mountain ranges are becoming islands in a sea of human activity. Because animals need that freedom to roam, to adjust, adapt, perhaps more than ever, it's getting pretty hot out there. They run against these barriers and they get stuck where they are. That's why animals disappear on islands. They have no place to go. In 30 years, with plenty of partners, we've set aside close to 650,000 acres of prime wildlife habitat. 650,000 acres. But it's not all connected. One landscape is simply a knitting together of the strongholds that remain. The bears showed us where they should go. And if we can build wildlife corridors, connectivity between these remaining strongholds of wildlife, it will hold up over time. The lower elevations, which are kind of bottlenecks for, for key species like grizzly bear, there just aren't many left almost all of it's private owned. And so there is that constant pressure to divide and, and develop land. Where vital ground has their most important role here is putting together conservation easement projects and in those really key critical areas. Many feel, as I do, that we're very fortunate to live in a place where bears exist. We do have a lot of wildlife come through. Plus, it's been productive farm ground for well over a century. I want it to remain not only in agriculture, but also as good habitat for wildlife. Because where the bears roam, there is still good habitat. I felt also that my grandfather would appreciate this property staying in one piece and functioning much as it is today. Oh, estate planning, my legacy, what's gonna happen, that's what I think about at three o'clock in the morning, for sure. For me, it's really important to have a direction of where this goes, you know, for the next generation and the generations to come. With this in an easement like it is, we know where it's gonna go. In the last several years, we've had lots of documented grizzly bears coming through the property and some staying on the property. We don't see them so much as we know that they're here, but it's just knowing that they're out there that, that I like. It makes my life better. We appreciate all the work Vital Ground does. Getting these conservation easements and putting in place in perpetuity, I like that, that we quietly do our job and, it's, and it lasts forever. So when we say we're saving nature, what do we really mean? When I go out and walk on the ground that Vital Ground has protected, and we all had a role in, and I'm looking at elk tracks, I'm seeing grizzly scratches on the trees. Vital Ground is making that real. This is saving nature on a large scale and connected scale. That'll work.